Hey guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Mercenary Kings. My name is Chief Tronka and I'm obviously playing as the Varangian God, led by Captain Live, the wise of Lifeson. Or well, House Lifeson. Anyway, uh, actually who was our father? We do not have a father. Okay, but we have eleven living members. Um whoops. So we have obviously one, two, three, four, five, six kids, and uh, our daughter already got two boys. Uh, one of which is actually a bastard, and our other son has two uh, daughters. That's funny. Our daughter has two boys, and our son has two girls. Um, but yeah, so we actually have three sons and Inga, <laughs> which is a uh, well, it's the girl's name. Whatever. Let's continue here. Um, so our son is coming back over. He's going to destroy these hundred men, Paphlagonia, and we actually can educate one more guy. Let's. Uh, oh, that bastard. Yeah, you know what? We're still gonna make him a good, uh... Yeah, he's, he's decent. Let's uh, let him do that. Whatever, he's still part of our family in a way, so... Why shouldn't we give him a good education? And this guy, he wants to... He wants Constantius. Who is... Wow, what a diplomat, gee. He wants to... Uh, she's a craven. Um... Nah, she has a claim on the king of Hungary. You know what? Yes. No. 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 I don't. I, I don't want her to be Greek Orthodox. She's gonna be Orthodox, just not Greek. And wow, we actually have not enough men to siege that, and we lost men. I I doubt. Uh, I believe we're still at war with Croatia. That war started twelve years ago. You would think the Byzantine Empire could fight that guy, but no, he's constantly busy with other stuff. And I think without us, the Byzantines would have already fallen apart, I have the feeling. It's really, it's me and my sons who keep this together. Um, okay, we caught someone, very nice, probably 25 gold, good job, good job son. Uh, he's going over there, let's try to catch him 19th of May. 16th of June, yeah, we're totally gonna catch that guy. Um, you want to be Stuart instead of Apollonius. Uh, you know, Apollonius, you're a good general. Um, but you're kind of lazy and you're also infirm, so, yeah. I think I'll... Like someone else, uh, my general now. Yeah. This guy, oh, he's brilliant commander. Uh, after giving my advice on a delicate matter, the courier asked me to accept a small gift of gold as thanks for my help. Um, I gain charitable or greedy. Accept the gift reluctantly. Yes. I didn't even get that. Uh, whatever. I don't want to be greedy. Yeah, so we're still getting 40 gold. But I cannot join this guy because it's... You cannot join these revolt uprisings type of stuff, I believe. Alania is not at war, and Kiev, I believe. Oh, right, are there some... These guys are all orthodox. I could join them. Kiev is huge. I can't even join him. Okay, now this is weird again. Why can I not join? I could join him while I was at war with Croatia. This is, to me, seems like a bug. Is it because I restarted the game? I can join Novgorod. Okay, does this guy hate me? Let me check. No, he doesn't. I I really don't understand. Why can I not join this guy? But I can I can join this guy. I mean, I'll just do it for the money, I guess. Destroy the hundred men again. He'll arrive soon enough. And we're gonna crush him over there in Ankura. And yeah, we're making another 10 gold now. Because that's actually really helping out our economy. It should be. Hello? Oh, it doesn't show. Oh, I lost three men. Uh, but this war seems to be over rather quickly. That's unfortunate. But yeah, now we actually have to pay. Why? What for? 
Are we? Yes. No. We're raised. Five of our men are raised. I can dismiss them. Oh, are they over there? Wow. Why did they get raised? Oh, I see. So if the Byzantines did not raise, if the Byzantines do not raise my troops, um, but I join another guy's war, I get spawned over their capital, and then I can fight for them. That's actually that actually makes sense. So I don't need to get my troops over there. Okay. We're still getting money now. Uh, yep. We should get 50 soon enough. Yeah, there we go. 50. That's pretty good. Uh, however, this war is not going to go on for a little, uh, for much longer. And we can imprison that girl, but rather end your plot. You want to kill Gorley. Okay, so Anna is married to one of my sons. Um... Hectorius is, uh, um, is married to one of my daughters, and uh, this guy is my liege, and yeah. So I married into his family three times. Actually, no. Wait, what? Okay, never mind. Anna was not married. Whatever. Okay, we need to get one more shock. I think, actually, let's see. Um, this guy, he has... Light infantry, heavy infantry. He does not have any cavalry, so we need to change that. So let's get ourselves um, another roaming guys. We're gonna get some cavalry, and this cavalry obviously gonna go over there, and we're gonna lead this again. Now, who who was the one? Why is oh? So he's now no longer the council, so he's leading. So we should probably give him to, uh, yeah, to my son, just so he's a better leader on his side. Uh, I mean, he kind of needs that. He needs all the help he can get. Sadly, that war over there seems to end very soon. So we need to do something about that. Get them together. Okay, so they should probably win this. I mean, 2,000 against 1,300. And the daughter was born to Hectarios in secret. Sure. Okay, he lost. Let's see if I can join another war right afterwards. Crusader kings. Christian pilgrim pilgrims to the whole... To the... The... What? To the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and the routes the routes are not safe. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope Lando II has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. This signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars, the Crusades. There's what? Yeah, well, right now the Byzantine Empire still stands and we're doing actually... Well, we're doing quite well, where the Seljuks kind of take care of themselves. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so this guy should be over any time now. Okay. Uh, can we join him again, just to get the, the cash? Yep. Get the cash. Thanks for the cash, bro. I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna go. Actually, there might be. Cru Crusade for Jerusalem. Okay. So, Pope Lando has been swayed by the cries for help from the Christian population in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Is there any Christian population? Uh, I don't see any, but okay, whatever you say. Um, he urges all able-bodied men of Europe to take up arms against the evil Caliph Shaban in order to secure Jerusalem from the clutches of the Mamo Mahomedian infidels. God will grant the pilgrims remission of sins in heaven. That's no concern of ours. It is not indeed. So the Fatimids are fighting the Pope. And obviously that. Can I join the Pope? That is a question. And the Pope is... Huh. Pope is part of the Holy Roman Empire. And this is now King Godwin. No longer part of Norway. I see. Uh, okay. That is interesting. So the Pope must be controlled somewhat by, well, whatever, uh, by his, by the, by the uh, emperor or something like that. I cannot join him. Too bad. Okay, we get employment again. And I think what we'll do, how much is that? That should be 10, 
gold. Yes, I think what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're 300 guys over there. Um, Army of Pilu Ingria. Uh, eh, Estonia. Um, we'll we'll send them down. But we're gonna send over our youngest son, Arfin. You're gonna take care of that. You're gonna do that. Actually, we're gonna send both of our sons. Actually... No. We're gonna send him, and he's gonna take care of that while we protect Byzantium. He should be able to do that. Come on, catch him. Too slow. I want organizers. Organizers is the best trait for general in my opinion. Simply because you can move your army fast and that often decides wars. Uh, so yeah, I like that. Actually, yeah, now that was negative 27. We should probably get our second son over there. Our uh, first son over there as well. Yeah. Can you go over there and do that? We're war with Estonia. Uh, we lose... Duke of Skane. Oh, okay. He's leading troops in Burland. So he's... He's still leading troops. <laughs> Interesting. As long as we don't take him out, he's probably... We'll probably keep leading troops. Well, that's good for us. I hate that they inherit. They shouldn't do that. They shouldn't be able to inherit while they're over here. Uh, well, he, w once they join the Varangian God, I think there was even an edict passed by... Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, oh, you know what? No, okay, never mind. Uh, I think there was an edict passed by someone that it is... Uh, um, that you... Uh, that you cannot inherit over here in Scandinavia if you have joined a mercenary or whatever group outside of Scandinavia. And the reason because uh, the reason was because a lot of people in the Scandinavian region would go off, uh, you know, work as uh, Varangians or other people. And that obviously, uh, obviously the, uh, the rulers of the Scandinavian um, re uh, countries did not like that. Uh, so they said, okay, if you, if you move out, you can no longer inherit. And I think that kind of makes sense too. Okay, he's gonna attack over there, so we'll have to do something about that. 2,000 men. Uh, after years of careful planning, Aina Yetrika has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, then to press his claim by force. What's his claim? Okay, so he's been avenging God for quite some time, and he's now... Wow, he's actually leading a... Well, not too big of a host. But well, good luck with that. Um, what do you want? You want... Chiefdom of Angamanland. Hmm. Well, you're one of my better commanders. I don't really like that. So, oh, wait, what? I can't lead. I I'm leading two flanks at the same time. That's <laughs> that's actually interesting. Are you kidding me? How's that possible? <laughs> How is that even possible? Oh, come on. Give me a break. He'll arrive on the 21st, uh, 20, 24th. I'm gonna make him stop and attack. Good. Where's, where are my guys? My sons? Oh, first one's over here. Good job. Um, inheriting another duchy. Very interesting. Oh, you know what it is? You know what I think? Um, uh, Smolensk. Vitebsk. What is this guy? What's his name? High Chief uh, Kiev Visible. He's at war. No, he's not at war at all. Huh, okay. Maybe he was a junior partner in a war. And therefore, I could not join him. Okay, we won this battle. Very nice. We annihilated the troops. Good job. And we should probably take care of them now. 
since our guy's not doing it. Actually, no, we don't. We don't have to. But what we need to do is get some more troops. Uh, what uh, what do we lack? We lack. We have heavy infantry. We have cavalry as well. Uh, we should just get some more shock, I think. And obviously you. Oh yeah, we lost both flanks. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. And Isidoros. You shall now lead one of those flanks. Good. And we can educate this daughter. Um, oh, actually our granddaughter. Uh, I think I want to make... Oh, he's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's on a dude. Yeah, I think he's pretty good. Let him do that. Oh, that's 3,000 men. Gee! Uh, we'll arrive on the 21st. 7th. Okay, we can get out. Gee. We need to run away. Um, wow. Go over here. At least that we get the river crossing. Defensive bonus until... Because we are leading with an 8 martial guy in the center. And we have way less troops than he does. Gee, gee, gee. Okay, come on. Let's go over here. Luckily, there's a lot of rivers. Okay. We can now... I think we can now safely advance into the Tapsk. Okay, let's go to Smolensk first and then can safely advance, I believe, now that our other brother has arrived. Come on. There you go. Go to the Tapsk. And we should take care of this army rather easily. We should we should probably Okay, will we take It doesn't say, does it? Uh, let's go for this. It's safer. It looks like we're not gonna take a river crossing over there. Okay, 6,600 men. Uh, I should probably take them over to that border. Okay. Come on, guys. Help Novgorod. We're like a holy order, it seems like, almost. Although Estonia? Uh, yeah. There is so Manusko. And, uh... We're helping you orthodox people that are being invaded. This is... Yes. It's a t and wow, all these guys have no troops. I'm their last hope. Okay, come on. Are they gonna arrive on the same date? That's my question. Army of Torre on the 20th... Yeah. Okay. Arfin and Torre, both of my brothers. Uh, my sons. What? What the hell? <laughs> Okay, come on. Ye oh, we actually did take a river crossing. That sucks. All right, so we got Tore, we got uh, Harald, and we got Apollonius. Um, okay, so this flank is falling to the Duke of Skane. Okay, so he can actually take the middle now with our son Tore. Okay, eh, okay, now they're running. Good. We did very, we did a very good job. We did lose quite some troops. Winning the war for this guy. Alright, that looks much better. Where is he going? He's going to Polotsk. Follow him. Destroy him. And we can yet build another shock troop regiment. Rolf! Oh, he's actually a holy warrior. Um, okay. Well, life is going to be over there. And we should have him lead probably this flank. Very important. So that Haldor, because Haldor is kind of weak. Okay. Holy Warriors will do very well. Yeah, he's now leading. Cool. What an awesome dude. He's cruel, but he's a Holy Warrior. And that should be good. He should fight very well. We'll see this in the next battle. Okay, we. Oh, uh, yeah, we won the revolt. That's very nice. And they've just taken that back. That is terrible, of course. Why are they getting so much for that? Um, yeah, that one battle. Uh, Isidoros is actually very weak. Why do we have him? Um, 
I mean, even this guy is better. Alright. Um, but yeah, that was the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next time. In the, in the next video. <laughs> I will see you next time or in the next video. Anyways, see you then. Steve Choranka, signing off.